Hey, George, did you hear the one about Daniel Craig needing a sexual intimacy coordinator for his new film? Are you serious, Rog? You can't be serious. I am serious. He needs a doctor to be on set to tell him all about sexual intimacies. With Anna Diamas, the chick that just got her titties out in a big hardcore sex scene in the last film she did. Yeah, that Anna Diamas. I've shagged her too. I tell you what, I gave her a bit of coordination. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to The James Bond Show. I'm your host, Crazy Stevie Kajibi, and this episode of The James Bond Show is brought to you by Anna Diamas' boobies. Okay guys, so, can you believe this? Apparently, Barbara Broccoli and Weekend at Bernie's Michael G. Wilson <sighs> I can't remember any time we did an announcement of the title at a Bond premiere launch. So these two geniuses have apparently organised an intimacy counsellor for Anna Diamas and for Daniel Craig on the set of Bond 25. Now listen, listen. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. This is deep. This is big stuff. We should talk to a professional about this. Well, I've got a special guest for you guys. Be right back. Hello, I'm Daniel Craig's sexual intimacy coordinator. Now, if Daniel is a bad, bad boy on set with my Anna de Armas, because she's only like 28 or something. If he's a bad boy, I'm going to put him over my knee and slap his ass like dinky, 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 dinky. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. I can't believe this, guys. Okay, now, there could be part of this that is a big pile of horse dung. Because, as we know, since the beginning of filming of Bond 25, they've been filming in Jamaica, and they pretty much filmed there three weeks straight until Daniel Craig stuffed his ankle up. And just on that, don't believe the hype. The film's not being put off. It's minor little surgery on the ankle. He'll be back straight away, and they are currently filming at Pinewood. They're just filming other scenes with Daniel not involved. He'll be back shortly. So, no stress about that. So, the... Intimacy quarter, coordinator thing, I think there's a bit of, like I said before, a bit of bullcrap to it. Because he's filming action scenes. Now, Daniel Craig apparently hurts his ankle when he's filming an action scene. So, a report that came out, which I'm going to put in the link description, not that these numbnuts deserve any attention that are writing this horse crap, but it said that, and the intimacy coordinator was on the set with Anna and Daniel Craig. Her, her scenes are in Europe. From what we know, Anna Diamas is not filming any scenes in Jamaica. And why is he doing rumpy, pumpy, pumpy with her when he's filming action scenes and he's got Madeline Swan there? But then this brings us to a little bit of a theory as well. What is the role of Madeline Swan, who me and my mates like to call Dr. Dull? What is Dr. Dull doing in this film? Because you know, with Phoebe Waller Feminist Bridge... With that big old dyker, 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 you know there's no way she's going to have Madeline Swan killed off. Now, she was apparently coming in just to do a, you know, comedy kind of touch-up, make the film funnier, flow more, whatnot. Uh, 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 uh. It looks like Phoebe Waller Feminazi is doing a full righty, righty, righty. She even said, I want to slip some feminism into the script <laughs> if I could get away with it. You know, funny, Phoebe Waller, we don't want your feminism in James Bond. But the whole intimacy coordinator, in her last film, she was riding a dude naked with her boobs out. I think she even did Doggy Woggy scene with this dude. Daniel Craig's probably humped half of Hollywood before he married Rachel Weisz. 
And since when have we had intimate pornographic sex scenes in a James Bond film? They don't exist. So why would Eon do this? Now, if it's bull crap and it's all lies and Eon had nothing to do with it, do with this, then Babs, Babsy baby, why are you and your media people not doing something about this? Why aren't you putting on your little tweets, your Twitter twats, whatever you want to call it, why don't you put on such and such is not true, no intimacy, quote, boom, squash it, and make these reporters look stupid. But you don't comment on anything. Eon, oh, oh I dream of making big dollars from making my big SJW Bond film. Come on, guys, listen. Go woke, go broke. Tell me this is all garbage. Don't let this happen. We don't want SJW Bond. And who is Phoebe Waller-Bridge? I mean, there in, in Fleabag, she's got a freaking hamster, and she's got some deal with the hamster. I mean, you, you know who needs a guidance counsellor? The hamster needs a guidance counsellor being handled by Phoebe Waller Feminazi. I hope someone, I hope like the RSPCA came along and washed that hamster after that SJW virtual signal. It touched the friggin' little thing. Far out. Animal cruelty, anyone? Mm. Okay, guys, this has been Crazy Kajibi. That's my thoughts on the intimacy coordinator thing. I just think it's absolute... Nuts, it's bonkers. And Eon had got to grow a set. Michael, we can have Bernie's Michael there because Bab's got a hand up his butt and controlling him because he's really dead. We all know he's dead. It's just the drugs and things keeping the heart kind of fluttering along. But he's got to have some balls and Bab's got to have some balls, not literally, metaphorically, and do something about this and say, this is Bond, get stuffed, and when she's asked about, should a woman be, you know, could a woman be James Bond? Don't you say, oh, well, I think, and for the time being, no. Look these morons in the eye and say, listen, this is our franchise. Ian Fleming's a male. If you can't handle that, get lost. Get lost. And then remind them about Salt, the spy movie, at the box office. Remind them about female Ghostbusters. And how's female Doctor Who going? Not too good, is it? No. So you SJW clowns, leave Bond alone. Guys, if you've liked this video and you want to be part of a James Bond channel, you know, and within the community of other channels, like people like Anomaly Inc., Nathan at Anomaly Inc., and also Midnight's Edge, the, the work that those guys are doing, these people, and also Jeremy at Geeks and Gamers, um, John Talks, John Talks Star Wars, World Class Bullshitters, these people and myself have the balls and have Hazard Stuff and um, Dutch Bond fan are having the balls to finally speak up and say something about this virtual signaling, this crowbarring of gender politics, of racism, and calling anyone a bigot or whatnot just because they don't want a black bond, or they don't want the lead of Star Wars to be a female with all these Jedi powers, yet she hasn't earned them. We're just common sense people. We're not racist. We're not bigots. We're common sense people that are defending the franchises we love. And Midnight's Edge have just done a great one, and I'm going to put the link in below for them. And they talked also about Phoebe Waller-Bridge, um, you know, coming, sorry, 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 Phoebe Waller Feminazi coming in and trying to mess up with James Bond. And I really, being a lifelong James Bond fanatic and one of the biggest Bond collectors in the world and the host of this show and real James Bond fans would love on Facebook, I want to thank those guys at Midnight Edge um, for making such a video and defending Bond. It takes bravery, it takes guts, but it's the right thing to do. Guys, please hit subscribe and tap the bell if you want notifications for the next video. I'll be flinging out a whole bunch over the next week. Um, and please share this with your friends. And I love reading your comments, so please comment. And guys, you know what? I actually sincerely thank you for watching my videos. I'm only new. I've nearly got 100 subs. I only started a couple weeks ago. But word of the page is getting out. And I really thank you guys for taking the time with being here with me. And subscribe and come along on the journey with me when we defend James Bond. And remember, we do it with no fears, limits, or substitutes. And until next time, keep on bonding.